Pokemon mystery boxes are all over the place. Sometimes they've got great stuff, other times they're trash. Either way, I decided to buy up every type of Pokemon mystery box I could get my hands on to see what I could get out of each one. Well, hey everybody, Rhino here, and I just can't help but be curious about Pokemon mystery boxes. More and more different styled mystery boxes just keep showing up at my local stores and online, and some of these boxes are wild. So today I'm gonna go through each box that I have, show you what you get inside, and hopefully pull some really cool stuff. Now, when it comes to the trading card mystery box industry, two companies seem to have the market cornered, MJ Holding and CCG Select. Now, I've talked about MJ Holding before, but they're a company based out of Illinois and have been a major distributor of trading cards since 1993. They make the various power boxes that you'll often see in stores. Now, as a regular part of the shipping and distribution process, sometimes they come across damaged, torn, or open boxes, premium collections, booster bundles, ETBs, things like that. What they do is they take the packs and goodies out of the damaged boxes and then use those to fill their mystery boxes. Recently, they've also started looking at graded cards through their mystery gems boxes. On the other hand, CCG Select is a much more mysterious company. A seemingly big player in the mystery box game a few years ago, I've actually bought quite a few boxes from them before I started the channel. However, their website now looks like it hasn't been updated in months, and all of their boxes are listed as out of stock as of recording. A deeper dive into their website's careers tab takes you to an Indeed listing for the company Troll X, a luxury mystery box division of the online trading card retailer TrollandToad.com, which is based out of Kentucky. Based on some of the intense googling that I did, it seems that CCG Select is now owned by Troll and Toad, and is no longer releasing new product. They are selling most of their remaining stock at a huge discount on Walmart.com and eBay, but if you're interested, Make sure you buy from the pro seller CCG Select and avoid other, less trustworthy sellers. Now that you know a little more about where these boxes came from, I think it's time that we dive on in. So here we are, we've got eight different boxes to open today, and I think I'm going to start with the biggest one first. So this is the CCG Select Lightning Box Limited Edition for $35 off of eBay. I had bought one of these a couple of years ago off of the CCG Select website, but you can no longer get it there. Um, it's where I got my original oversized binder for all my oversized cards, and you know, I needed another oversized binder, so this is helping me out in a lot of ways. It comes with three booster packs, three lightning cards, because apparently they can't say Pikachu, and then it also potentially comes with a couple of mystery items. So the only thing to do is to open this up and see what actually comes inside. It's a very nice box, and you know, makes me think maybe this was one of the... Uh, um, precursors to their their luxury boxes I mean, it's very well built and there's a lot of cool stuff in here there is the oversized binder it comes with the oversized pikachu uh celebrations card in it so that's really cool and it looks like it does have a few mystery items in here including a graded card wow i wasn't expecting that this has an 8.5 uh, pikachu v black star promo card uh, from the crowned zenith set so at an 8.5, this is going to be somewhere between $10 and $15. That's what it uh, is currently going for uh, online. So cool to see a graded card in there. Along with that, they gave a coin. It looks like the uh, the Mewtwo Pikachu Charizard coin. That's kind of nice. We also have some damage counter dice here. A pin of Pikachu, and I don't believe I have this pin, so that's pretty exciting. Nice to get something I don't have already. We have the card sleeves here, nice uh, gold uh, card sleeves. Look like they came out of a trainer's toolkit, maybe. We have a code card here for the Juniper collection, just because, you know, why not throw in a random code card? And then we've got our Pikachu card here. They are actually multiple. We have the Pikachu V Sword and Shield 198. The Pikachu, oh, this is uh, from a Pikachu collection here. And then we've got uh, the Evolving Skies uh, Reverse Pikachu. So not super special there, but this one's a little bit different. So look this up. This is the Hidden Fates Pikachu number 19 out of 68. So uh, call it Bubbles Pikachu. Still kind of cool. So three nice Pikachu cards, a graded Pikachu card. We've got the damage dice. We've got card sleeves. Hey, look, a nice little celebration sleeve thrown in. Um, one other bonus that they threw in here was some GX uh, damage counters. So that's kind of cool seeing those. All right, so here's everything that came in the limited edition lightning box. All of our goodies here, including our three booster packs, which are Scarlet and Violet, Astral Radiance, and Fusion Strike. We're going to go ahead and open those up now. 
and see what we can actually pull, starting with Fusion Strike. Now, there is always that fear that these packs are weighted, but we'll have to see how that goes. But if we go one, two, three, four, move them to the front. We have a Water Energy. Oh, I do see that this is some kind of a hit. I don't know what it is. It's got a black and white border on the edge of it. So we've got something here. What did we pull? It's another Pikachu. How about that? A Pikachu out of a Pikachu box. <laughs> it's like Destiny. Up next is Astral Radiance. Um, I put up a bunch of these packs the other day. A couple weeks ago now, actually. I think we get out of this one. Hey, it's a black code card. That's always a good sign. That means there's a potential for a hit in here. Again, I'm hoping these packs aren't, you know, weighted or something like that. I just... I really want to believe that there is the ability to get something great out of these boxes. Barboach and a mill tank. All right, well, that's not exactly great. Scarlet and Violet's our last pack here, and I'm still hunting for that Gardevoir, so... Oh boy, that would be awesome to be able to pull something like that from a mystery box. Let's see what we get. Lightning, Caps of Kid Potion. All of the bulk that I've already completed. Chest plate, Waxley. Nope. And a slow bro. So other than one more friendly Pikachu card, it doesn't look like I got any other big hits out of this box. Probably not worth the money altogether, but it is really cool to get a graded card. Just kind of tossed in there for free. You got that binder. You've got all these other goodies. And, uh, you know, yeah, I'm still pretty pleased with uh, what I ended up getting here. I didn't feel like I got scammed at all or anything like that. So, again, if you're looking for a box like this, $35 on eBay. Just make sure you search for the seller CCG Select. And so up next, we have the Lightning Power Box from MJ Holding. So this says it comes with uh, three booster packs and a foil card. So we'll just go ahead and uh, open her up and see what's inside. And sure enough, that's exactly what's in there. Three booster packs and a foil card. The foil card is a Hisuian Samurott V from the Divergent Powers tin, it looks like. Put that aside. And then our three packs are Brilliant Star, Silver Tempest, and Shining Fates. And these make sense with what MJ Holdings does because uh, I've seen premium collections of all of these in Walmart recently. So uh, they probably just had some damaged boxes and just said, hey, throw them in. Shining Fates is our oldest pack here. So we're going to go ahead and open this up and see. Maybe we can pull a Charizard finally. I am still missing quite a bit from Shining Fates. Hidden Fates. Paldean Fates. All the Fates. It's a great code card. So that is a good sign. Let's see what we get. E or C, do I get a shiny? Shiny Toxtricity, okay, okay. And a Zarud, not too bad. Ended up pulling a shiny that I needed, so that's always cool. And we've got our Brilliant Stars up next. Quite a few cards uh, from this set that I still need. White Code card is not uh, giving me a lot of hope for this box. Um, again, with all these boxes, you know, there's always that risk you run of, are the packs weighed um you know are they is this really a scam but i've gotten really good cards really good cards like chase cards from mj holding boxes so i'm um, not getting anything from this one obviously uh, not that pack but maybe i'll have some luck with silver tempest one last chance is there a big hit in here we got a black code card if I remember right, though, I thought Silver Tempest went to all black code cards. So maybe, maybe that's not a sign of anything. I thought uh, maybe Silver Tempest's code card colors mean nothing. We've got a Molga, Murkrow, Whalmer, Plink, and an Amistar V. Okay. So I went ahead and looked at Amistar V as a card that I did already have. So the Toxtricity is the only really new card I got here. It's nice to get a shiny, um, but... These are pretty much it, uh, $15. This is what I get. So uh, if you are interested, these are available, again, at uh, most of your big box stores, uh, 15 bucks. So there you are. Up next, we have the most boring box out of all the boxes I have. It really is unassuming. Uh, it's the $30 six pack from CCG Select. Uh, they had it marked down to $27 um, when they last updated the website. And I believe I was able to get it for a little bit less than that uh, when I picked it up off of Amazon. So so we have six booster packs here, all from different points in the Sword and Shield era. And uh, yeah, nothing more to do here than just get to opening. We've got Vivid Voltage number one. 
What's the odds that this is that rainbow Pikachu? Probably low. Probably low. What's the odds I can get this open? Uh, only slightly higher than me getting that rainbow Pikachu. Here we go. All right. And ooh, the wrong code card. Not happy getting a green code card. That means I'm likely getting nothing from this. And Clefairy uh -huh. with Beriscuda at the end. So nothing in Vivid. Not super exciting. Let's go Battle Styles. I haven't opened a lot of Battle Styles. Might be doing a video on Battle Styles soon, though. I do have quite a few packs of them ready to go. Maybe I can get a hit here. No. Cubone again in Babillion. So Brilliant Stars. We're back to that again. Notice how out of the three mystery boxes I've opened, I have not gotten any really old packs. A yeah, black code card. This code card's a little funny looking, though. Looks, you know, you can kind of see it looks a little off. But, okay. Does that mean anything? If you think it means something, drop a comment down below. If you think you know what an off code card um, could be, is that just a printing error from the company? Or did these guys... Forget it, I take it all back. Messed up code card for the win. This is the best hit I've gotten so far. This is like a $12 to $13 Mimikyu VMAX Trainer Gallery. And so uh, feeling awesome about getting this one. So, so far this... Unassuming little box is the best thing I've gotten so far today. So, Astral Radiance is up next. I mean, is this a legit box? I was complaining about that code card, and all of a sudden I got a nice hit out of it. I should complain about this code card, but mostly because it's just a plain old white code card. I guess with uh, Astral, there's a chance I get a trainer gallery as well. Bronzor. Hey, we got Piers. It is a trainer gallery of Piers. Hey, Leafeon. Cool. But the trainer gallery again. Piers. Nice card. Another nice little $2 trainer gallery that we can add on in here with the Mimikyu that gets us to, you know, about $15 out of this box. And that's just the hit cards that we've gotten. We've got Lost Origin next. So still lots of really uh, big cards that I'm missing from Lost Origin, Silver Tempest, things like that. So, kind of cool to get a big hit from one of those. Only got a shot at another trainer gallery, though. A white code card kind of puts the death knell on any big uh, hits out of this one. Oddish and Ariadoth. Creepy looking spider there. Then we got Silver Tempest, kind of our last chance to maybe make our money back on this box. But uh, still got a couple hits out of it. We do have a black code card. That is good now if only my luck could be good we have a fletchling we do have something here what could it be it's his we and arcanine v all right the nice full art card this is pretty cool now because i'm such a totally awesome mega cool collector i do already have this card too but uh, you put all of them together, you know, we're talking about $18, $17 worth of cards here. Not quite the uh, cost that I spent on the box itself, a little less than that actually. But it is still nice to be able to pull three decent hits out of a mystery box. And again, this is uh, not available on the CCG Select website anymore, but you can usually find it on Walmart.com, eBay, or if you're lucky, Amazon. But watch out for uh, resellers. So we go from a plain old six pack box to a mystery power box with five booster packs in it. This is one of the newer boxes from MJ Holdings and uh, yeah, just straight up has five boosters in it. Let's see what's inside. So I don't actually know which side is the front, and which is the back, but uh, one thing I do know is they released a very similar looking box in the holiday season of 2023. And uh, the only thing that was different is that it included a mystery item, which was usually an extra coin. So uh, this one just has five booster packs in it. It's nicely uh, placed in here, so they're not gonna fall out. I know sometimes with these mystery boxes, people can, you know, snatch at them. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Look at the packs I got with this one. Although they included celebrations as a full-on pack. I am not a fan of that. But, uh, alright. So maybe if we're lucky, this has the uh, the Mew or the Charizard in it. Or, you know, maybe there's, a, there's an Umbreon and a Rayquaza. But uh, we'll see. So we do have a nice code card here. Not sure if 
uh, celebrations has any really good code cards and i have no idea if there's any trick with these so we're just gonna take a look at them we've got zekrum that's nice oh oh a reshiram and the pikachu okay so i think this pikachu is worth about 50 cents but this reshiram uh let's see just over two dollars okay so about uh, 250. I don't think the uh, the Zekrom or the Ho -Oh are worth more than a few coins. Up next, we'll jump back into Shining Fates. Still looking for that Charizard, if it's even possible to get it. But I mean, we got a we got a hit from the Celebrations Pack, and we do have a gray code card. That's always a great sign. Uh, no shiny with the Rowlet there, but we do have an NDDV. Not a big hit, but it is a hit. And it's only worth about uh, 40 cents, so not a big hit, not even really worth putting in a sleeve. Um, we'll move on to the next pack, but I did forget to mention that uh, this mystery box is about $25 if you order it online from Walmart. I think in-store, it's uh, closer to $30. Um, I'd have to double-check on that. Uh, we got the wrong code card for Fusion Strike. Yeah, nothing there. You know, sorry to sound so disappointed, but uh, Fusion Strike, it just, uh, it breaks your heart right away when you see that white code card. Silver Tempest, on the other hand, this one has a black code card. We've got a Litten. And a Ho-O-V. Okay, okay, now we're getting somewhere. It's not a huge hit, but it's better than Indeedee. I said it's better than Indeedee, but not by much. Um, we're going to be basing everything. Off of Evolving Skies, this box and every box could be paid for with one card from Evolving Skies. And how much you want to bet the first thing I see when I open this up is a shining white code card. You know what? Just for my own sanity, I'm not even going to look. There's the code card for you guys, but I'm not even going to look. I want to see it. Uh, I just want to see a hit. There's Lit Leo. Talon Flame. All right, so it was a white code card. Bummer for me. So this $25 mystery box, not a lot of hits in it. Didn't really get much from it. Um, again, I'm not really doing this. I'm not really getting in the, the hits I need from them. Um, but I am getting new cards. I am getting interesting cards in it. It's kind of fun. So moving back to CCG Select, one of the boxes I'm looking at here is a Hidden Treasures box. And I've opened a lot of these. I think I've probably opened five or six of these. Um, I used to use these boxes to try to get my hands on pins that I was missing because they always seemed to come with a pin. But uh, these boxes come with uh, at least one mystery item and up to two bonus items along with four uh, booster packs. And these are currently on sale for $20, 20 bucks. So if you can get your hands on them, I believe that's uh, walmart.com. Just tear this thing open, I don't care about this box. Let's see what's inside. Um, this comes with, let's see, we've got our condition markers. We've got a code card for a Scarlet and Violet build and battle box. We have some damage counters and a playmat. We have some damage counter dice. Again, this looks like it might have come from maybe a uh, trainer's toolkit. We've got a what you can do during your turn, how to play the game card. And look, it's another one of those coins uh, that I also got from the lightning box. So it's almost like they took a trainer's toolkit and just threw all the stuff that came in it into these two boxes. Over there's our four booster packs. We have Silver, Crown, Lost, and Paldea. So we're going to start with my best friend, my oldest friend, Crown Zenith. Crown Zenith has always been fun to open. Um, it's been nice not to have to worry about trying to finish it, though. I was in such a mood trying to finish Crown Zenith. I'm glad it's over for me. Digging Duo and Kyogre. Hmm. Well, an unexpected, terrible pack from Crown Zenith. Let's uh, let's go back a step and try some Silver Tempest. I've gotten a couple hits from Silver Tempest today, but <laughs> I don't know. So far, this whole box has just uh, been disappointing to me. Nope. Maybe they do. This was garbage. Then we get to Lost Origin. Lost Origin. I think I'm at about 87% of this set complete. So I'll just need the art cards. How about a nice black code card? Nope.
can at okay. least give me something in this box. Am I really going to be pinning all of my hopes on Paldea Evolved? <sighs> you know, I have the magic card from Paldea Evolved, but getting a second one? That thing is going nuts right now. It is so valuable. Bax Caliber, that's a nice reverse. Citadel. And Sableye. Wow! Wow! I was singing its praises sort of before because I have bought these boxes in the past, but I don't think I've been more disappointed with a hidden treasures box in my life. I got no cards. My goodies are things you can get out of Trainer's Toolkit. And uh, yeah, moving on. So we are back to MJ Holdings and they have another mystery power box. Now I'm not sure if this one or that sparkly one is the newest. Um, this is the last one that I purchased in the store though. Uh, there were still a couple left on the shelf. So once again, it's just five random booster packs and they do have some chase packs seated in here, they said. So we'll just open it up and see what five packs we get. And inside this box, what does Rhino get? Five booster packs. And an extra big piece of cardboard at the bottom. All right, power box. Give me something good. Rhino needs to eat. We've got Brilliant Stars, Shining Fates, Silver Tempest, because of course we do, Scarlet and Violet, and Brilliant Stars. So a pair of Brilliant Stars, another Shining Fates, Silver Tempest, and Scarlet and Violet. This makes sense. I mean, these are all the packs that you would normally see a uh, distributor sending out. I mean, I see Shining Fates boxes all the time sitting on the shelf and just not willing to spend that much money for Shining Fates anymore. We do have a good gold code card here. A good code card. Can you give me something good? Rhino needs to eat. Spin around. A Shiny Corviknight and Professor's Research. But we do have a nice Shining Fate Shiny card. We've got two Brilliant Stars packs and some amazing Brilliant Stars cards hiding out there. Let's see if I can get myself another art card. Let's see if I can even open this stinking thing. All right. We've got our code card. Nose pass. Back to you. Hey, if you're here, by the way, thank you for sticking around so long. Appreciate you. But I don't appreciate this heat tramp. Your views, your shares, your comments, your likes, all of those things, they really do help out the channel a lot. I'm working on building up my watch hours right now, so I can hopefully open up some memberships soon. Uh, I'm going to be doing a lot more live streams in the future, in the near future. My month of May is going to be filled with live streams, and uh, I'd love to connect with you guys. So keep an eye on my channel. If you're not subscribed, make sure you do. I'll uh, post in the community tab when I have an upcoming live stream. I'm not getting anything at all from these cards. And uh, yeah, I've got links to uh, my Patreon where I've got some wonderful patrons in there. And uh, really wonderful. I really I, I can't talk enough about uh, how nice I, my fans are, how nice my followers are, how nice people on this channel are. Um, and then I've also got uh, a link to my Streamlabs tip jar, which is just another way to uh, donate a little bit of money. Again, all money on my channel. I've said this before goes right back in to buying these packs because rhino's got to eat and he wants to spend his money on his packs so guys i am one corvanite in this box and that's it the gardevoir would make me feel better but i just i just have wow, what a what a messed up code card this is i just have a feeling it's not happening tonight There's that Growlithe. There's the Dene. Bruh. There's the Lucha. There goes my money. So just like the previous box, this one goes for about 25 bucks, and that's 25 bucks I'm not getting back. Thanks, Corviknight. Now we're down to my last two boxes, and I really find them to be the most interesting out of all of them. These are the boxes that have graded cards in them. Now, this champion box, which guarantees a fire dragon card in each one um does not always come with a graded card but this one does because i can hear it i can feel it there's a graded card in here and it's supposed to be a graded charizard 
so it's gonna be interesting to see what kind of card I pull from this box. There are also supposed to be three booster packs and an additional Charizard card. So basically this is a smaller version of that lightning box, but Charizard themed. CCG select, let's see what you got. Moment of truth, CCG select, this is your last box. We have a Crown Zenith pack. We have an Obsidian Flames pack. Makes sense, it's a Charizard box. What's our last pack here? We have Pokemon Go. Wow, that's a blast from the past. And the graded card is a Lance's Charizard promo card. Okay. Got that nice little uh, magnetic strip at the top so I can actually open and take this out. And that is my card. It's not a graded card, so I was wrong about that. It's just in a very nice holder. So this is the Celebrations uh, promo Lance's Charizard. Well, so this is worth about uh, $2. I'm actually a bit more excited about the card holder because this is kind of a nice card holder. I mean, magnetic. It's, uh, you know, I could find something nice to put in here. I do have a uh, Charizard from 151 that uh, I'm going to be trying to sell. So maybe I'll stick that in here. But uh, yeah, $2 for this. And we got three packs to open. What's insane is that all three of these packs are sets I've completed. So I'm not getting any new cards here. It's just not happening. But there are still valuable cards in here and maybe cards that I could uh, put up for sale or throw into my vault. You've been a part of uh, my last live stream, which was about a month ago. I have a vault of cards that I like to sometimes give away. We have our V-Star card, woohoo! Chensi. And a Dragonite V-Star. I've got a few of these. It's not uh, super valuable, but it's worth more than a buck. Let's go Crown Zenith. Crown Zenith can't swing and a miss twice on me tonight, can it? It used to be so good. But ever since I finished it, I have not gotten any real hits out of it. Well, there's our code card. Enjoy that. Must be getting tired because I'm starting to get sloppy, you guys. Apologies. Hey, we got an energy. I can rock. This is cool. Reverse uh, energy. I used to think the reverse energies were super valuable, but nope, it's just a reverse energy. It's not even the crown zenith one. See, it doesn't have the symbol in the corner. It's just a regular old reverse psychic energy. And despite being my mortal enemy when it first came out, being something I never, ever, ever, ever could get a pull from, Obsidian Flames has been really nice to me within the last two months. So maybe there's a chance that this is the pack that saves the box. Eat more nope. and seize a war. I was asking for too much. I really was. So, yeah, there we go. Out of this box, I got uh, the Charizard, and then I pulled a V-Star. Uh, I'm actually more excited about the plastic sleeve, and this box was caca. Get it out of here. Final box. This is Mystery Gems. This is MJ Holdings' brand new product. Uh, it flew off the shelves. I was able to snag two of them when it first came out. Um, what's interesting about these, and I've got the other one over here. I wanted to see what was inside. They use the Beckett CCG grading, and um, it's, I don't know. I don't know much about grading cards in general, but when I look at this, when I look at some of the other grading systems, I just feel like uh, everybody's going for PSA. And I'm not sure how I feel about the Beckett CCG grading system, but I don't know if you like it. Let me know. Maybe it's more popular than I thought. And so these are on sale for $22 on uh, Walmart.com. The uh, Champions Charizard box, that was uh, about $25, I think. So let's see what we get out of this Mystery Gems box. I'm excited. Last one. It also comes with a pair of... Uh, packs, by the way. This one's Silver Tempest Lost Origin, and hey, it's another 10. I don't know, for some reason I keep getting 10s out of here. I don't know if that is actually uh, <laughs> meaningful when we're looking at Beckett, but uh, this is the Black Star promo Hatterene. So according to this, a PSA 10 of this card specifically is about $25. I'm not sure how I feel about this um, being an actual 10, but uh, you know, looks like a decent enough card, and it if it is $25, if it truly is a, a mint 10 and it's worth 25 bucks, that more than pays for the box. 
Lost Origin, we're looking for that Giratina. Be amazing if I can get it here. I'm surprised out of all these mystery boxes, I only got one Evolving Skies. So I only had one shot at the Moonbrion. That's a bit of a bummer. Black Code Card is a good sign for Lost Origin. Can I end on just a massive, amazing, spectacular hit? Bronzong. Aerodactyl V-Star. All right, so we do have an Aerodactyl V-Star. It's not a huge hit. Uh, it's something, but uh, that's not going to be winning me any prizes today. And last but not least, we have the Silver Tempest. There is a Shadow Lugia in Silver Tempest. That pretty much would be the only card that could make what I bought today anything worthwhile. Of course, the white code card. It's not going to happen. I know it's got to eat, you guys. Give me at least a trainer gallery. Something to celebrate. We do have a fire energy. That's always a good sign. Primordial Altar, Dedene, Growlithe, Mistrevis, Whalmer, Murkrow, Emolga, Phoebus. And the card that I end on today. Hey, Phoebus evolved into a Milotic. And while that's going to do it for me, I definitely had a time opening these boxes, just not sure if it was a good time or not. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and leave a like. You can drop a comment down below. Give me some sympathy. Give me some advice. Let me know how you thought this video went. And uh, if you wouldn't mind also subscribing to the channel if you're not already. It really does help the channel to grow and expand and find new fans. You can also go down to the description below and find a link to my Patreon and be like these wonderful people here. And you can also find a link to my Streamlabs tip jar. All money donated to the channel goes right into buying more packs and I'm never going to use it to buy mystery boxes. I promise. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you all later. Rhino, out.